On March 3rd, U.S. President Donald Trump met with the chairman of Taiwan Semiconductor Giant TSMC or Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company Wei Jiajie. They jointly announced at the White House that TSMC would invest an additional $100 billion in the U.S. to strengthen its production capacity for advanced semiconductors. This announcement immediately drew significant attention both in the global semiconductor industry and in Taiwan. How did people in Taiwan view TSMC's decision? Why is TSMC so critical to global development, and how did it become one of the most important companies in the world today? Let's first take a look at the different opinions from Taiwan's political parties and the public. Taiwan mainly has two major political parties, the Kuomintang KMT and the Democratic Progressive Party DPP. The DPP is currently in power with President Lai Chengde as the leader. Regarding TSMC's investment in the U.S., those who view it positively believe that TSMC successfully negotiated with Trump, with both sides benefiting. The U.S. can bring semiconductor manufacturing back to its shores, strengthening its chip production capacity and reducing dependence on China. For TSMC, this move can help avoid trade issues such as tariffs. Critics argue that this deal is just a Taiwanese company investing in the U.S. However, the semiconductor industry is a strategic asset, and they worry that Taiwan semiconductor production technology could be at risk of being hollowed out by the U.S. On March 7th, the KMT directly questioned whether President Lai is effectively selling TSMC to the U.S. as a protection fee, calling this a major national security issue. There was also a rise in online discussions expressing doubts about the U.S. and questioning Lai's decisions. Former President Ma ying Zhou posted on Facebook saying, The U.S. has asked TSMC to invest $100 billion in the U.S., including advanced packaging facilities and research centers. This has made people worry that Taiwan's guardian mountain, TSMC, might be moved out, which is a serious national security risk. It will have a negative impact on national confidence, cross-strait relations, and Taiwan's future geopolitical position. Ma also said that President Trump, with his business background, is driven by profits. He asked, once TSMC is sold, what's next? What else will be sold? Ma urged President Lai to protect TSMC and stop dividing Taiwan. In response to these claims, DPP spokesperson Han Ying quickly countered, saying that the KMT and the Chinese Communist Party's Taiwan Affairs Office were spreading anti-American rhetoric and working together to undermine TSMC. She accused them of collaborating with the CCP to harm Taiwan's international status and said these individuals were the real threat to national security. Before TSMC's investment in the U.S., President Lai had already met with TSMC's founder Morris Chong and chairman Wei Jiajie to discuss a strategy. President Lai emphasized that Taiwan needed to act early, build factories in other countries, and increase its global influence to ensure Taiwan's irreplaceable position in the semiconductor industry. On March 6, President Lai and TSMC chairman Wei Jiajie held a press conference at the presidential office. President Lai referred to the investment plan as a historic moment for Taiwan-U.S. relations. The government wasn't pressured by the U.S. during TSMC's investment process. This is TSMC's moment, Taiwan's moment, and a historic moment for Taiwan-U.S. relations. The government will do its best to support TSMC by providing enough land, water, power, and a steady supply of talent in Taiwan. At the press conference, TSMC Chairman Wei Jiajie explained that because there is a high demand in the global market, TSMC needs to invest in the U.S. while also continuing to expand its factories in Taiwan. This year, Taiwan will build 11 production lines. Will the $10 billion investment plan in the U.S. derail the expansion plan in Taiwan? No, it won't. Due to client demand, all of our production lines for this year and next year are fully booked. Even the production line that will be built the year after next is already booked. Taiwanese senior political and economic commentator Wu Jai Long said that some people think TSMC building factories in the U.S. is hollowing out Taiwan. But this is not a concern at all. 
TSMC is working towards global expansion. It's not just a company for Taiwan, but for the whole world, and that's a positive thing. By attracting talent from the US, Japan and Germany, what's the problem with that? If TSMC becomes more competitive as a result, it will be bad news for its competitors because the gap between them and TSMC will only get bigger. Competitors will lose market share and more orders will flow to TSMC. Wei Jiajie said something very important. He asked why build factories in the US. It's because there isn't enough production. Taiwan has been doing its best to increase output and factories have never stopped working and are constantly expanding. But even so, there still isn't enough. The factories being built in the US, which will be finished next year or the year after, already have their production slots fully booked, even though the factories aren't finished yet. So, the concern about hollowing out Taiwan isn't a valid issue. Another worry is that TSMC's profit margins might decrease. However, if TSMC becomes more competitive, customers will be willing to pay higher prices for its products. The key question is whether TSMC's competitive position will improve or worsen. So why is TSMC so important, and why is the whole world competing for it? 1. TSMC's Global Strategic Value TSMC is one of the most advanced semiconductor manufacturers in the world with expertise in 5 nanometers and 3 nanometers chip production. Big companies like Apple, Nvidia, AMD, and Qualcomm rely heavily on TSMC for their chips. Over 70% of the world's most advanced chips are made in Taiwan, especially in areas like artificial intelligence, high performance computing, and military technology. 2. Rapidly increasing global market demand. As new technologies like AI, the Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, and 5G become more widespread, the need for high performance and efficient chips is growing quickly. TSMC's technological edge in these areas make it the top choice for many companies. 3. TSMC's value to the Chinese Communist Party Due to strict US technology sanctions, China struggles to access advanced chips and the manufacturing equipment needed for them. This affects China's technological and military progress, particularly in areas like AI, supercomputers, and precision missiles. If China were to attack Taiwan and seize control of TSMC, it would gain a major advantage in the semiconductor industry, effectively controlling the core of global high-tech companies and providing a strong justification for military aggression. 4. Geopolitical Considerations of TSMC TSMC is based in Taiwan, and while it's a global leader in technology, the political stability of Taiwan is critical to the world's supply chain. If the CCP were to take control of or destroy TSMC, it would cause major disruptions in the global tech industry, potentially leading to a large economic and supply chain crisis. TSMC is also part of the Silicon Shield. Countries like the US, Japan, and those in Europe understand its importance. If Taiwan were attacked, it would likely lead to strong international intervention, increasing the risks and costs for the CCP in any attempt to invade Taiwan. In short, the competition over TSMC is driven by its cutting-edge technology, reliable production, and high demand, making it an essential player in the global tech industry. Taiwanese senior political and economic commentator Wu Jai Long analyzed that TSMC building factories in the US is crucial for America's national security. If war were to break out, the U.S. would be willing to help defend Taiwan. However, the U.S. can't rely solely on TSMC's stockpile. Once the U.S. military runs out of supplies, if it can't get more chips from TSMC, it won't be able to keep producing various weapon systems to support the front lines. If the U.S. could produce these military-grade chips on its own, it would be crucial for maintaining its military advantage. Chips are needed for things like drones, missiles, and fighter jets. Being able to produce them domestically to support war efforts is extremely important. You can't wait until war breaks out and then ask TSMC to ship chips. What if Taiwan is blocked? The U.S. absolutely doesn't want to end up in a situation like Russia's today. The U.S. is essentially preparing for war, as chips are considered a strategic asset. This is clear. By having TSMC build factories in the U.S., it ensures a steady supply of these critical chips, which helps the U.S. meet its military and strategic needs in case of conflict. Finally, let's take a look at how TSMC became one of the most important companies in the world. 1. Innovative Business Model – Pure Play Foundry TSMC was founded by Morris Chong in 1987. 
He made TSMC focus on becoming a fabless company, meaning the company doesn't design chips itself but provides manufacturing services to companies like NVIDIA, AMD, Apple, and Qualcomm. These American companies design various chips and then send them to TSMC for production. This business model allows TSMC to independently develop manufacturing technology without the concern of competing with its customers' products, making it a key partner for many tech companies around the world. 2. Technological Leadership – Ongoing Investment in R&D TSMC's success is largely due to its constant technological leadership. The company has advanced from producing 130 nanometers, 90 nanometers, and 65 nanometer chips to developing 7 nanometers, 5 nanometers, and 3 nanometer technology and is now working on 2 nanometer technology. Moreover, TSMC invests over 15% of its revenue into research and development each year. In 2023 alone, they spent more than $7 billion on R&D, outpacing their competitors by far. TSMC was also the first company to successfully adopt extreme ultraviolet lithography on a large scale, giving it a competitive edge in producing 5 nanometers in smaller chips. This makes TSMC the most reliable wafer manufacturer in the industry. 3. Strong Management and Efficient Manufacturing TSMC is well known for its high quality products and cost effectiveness. Their supply chain management is very tight, ensuring that materials and equipment are always available and not affected by outside issues, which allows them to deliver products to customers consistently. Besides their advanced technology, what really sets them apart is their honesty. Over the years, TSMC has kept their customers secrets and earned the trust of all the chip design companies. 4. Global Industry Environment and Timing TSMC's success wasn't just due to its own strengths, but also because of changes in the global semiconductor industry. In the 2000s, the increase in PC demand led to a higher need for powerful chips. After 2010, the rise of smartphones, especially the iPhone, made TSMC a key supplier for Apple. Also, the US technology restrictions on China made TSMC the only independent company with the most advanced chip-making technology, which helped strengthen its position in the market. 5. Seizing Opportunities in Emerging Fields Like AI and HPC With the development of AI technology, the demand for chips has increased dramatically. Companies like NVIDIA and AMD are competing for TSMC's advanced manufacturing capacity to produce cutting-edge AI processors such as the H100 and MI300X. With the growth of cloud computing, HPC, and data centers, the need for TSMC's high-performance chips will continue to rise. TSMC is also constantly innovating in advanced packaging technologies to provide more efficient semiconductor solutions. That's all for today. If you enjoy our content, please remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment, or share it with your friends. We appreciate your support, and we'll see you next time.